Hey everyone, it's Mike from ImageGuy.com and as you can see this week I am feeling much better than I was last week. So what I decided to do this week is to uh, go over how to make your own beauty dish. Now I did this post on my website a long time ago and I just did like a quick uh, photo post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make it a video post while showing you the photos and just explain sort of what you need and how to do it and all that sort of stuff. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, this is the first photo from the website and what you need to make your own beauty dish. You need a white plastic bowl, foam board, zip ties or zap straps, depending on what you want to call them, and aluminum tape. You want to trace around your flash, you know, making sure that it's centered at the bottom of the bowl. Next thing you want to do is you want to cut a diagonal uh, from uh, corner to corner. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to be making flaps when you do this. Okay, so once you've made the cuts, what you do is you fold the flaps back uh, 90 degrees. Now there is a trick to this, uh, if the plastic material is a little bit too brittle, what you do is you put the bowl in hot water for about five minutes and then you fold the flaps back. And uh, here you can just see what it looks like with it on there. You want to make sure that it fits properly and everything like that. And there is the front view. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to get a piece of uh, foam board and cut, and, and sorry, draw a circle about half the diameter of the bowl. So on the other side of the, uh, the foam board, what you do is you put aluminum tape on there. You got to make sure that it's big enough uh, so that it's actually larger than the, uh, the circle that you just drew on the other side. And then what you do is you just cut out the, uh, the circle. Uh, you can use a, uh, an X-Acto knife or like a box cutter type knife for, uh, to do that. Then what you want to do is you want to uh, put little slots uh, at every 90 degrees on the circle there. You want to be able to fit your zip ties through that. And what you do with the zip ties is you bend them a little bit. You'll see why uh, in, in a second. And then you uh, put the zip, zip ties through the holes with the bends facing outwards. This will be the front view. And then what you want to do is you want to cut uh, slits into the bowl every 90 degrees also. Now the slits have to be just big enough for the zip ties to fit through. Um, if the zip ties are too loose, they're not going to be able to uh, hold the uh, center ring into place. Uh, what you might need to do is you might need to insert a small flathead screwdriver into the slits to make them just big enough so you can uh, put the zip ties through. But again, the most important thing is make sure that the zip ties uh, f are held in place uh, firmly by the friction from the, uh, the bowl. The bowl set up with the, uh, on the flash. This is the uh, sort of like a three-quarter view or whatever you want to call that. Here's pretty much the same view and uh, in this one here we've got a uh, an omni bounce on the flash. Sort of diffuses the light a little bit more and gives it a softer light. And here is the front view. And finally, here is the front view just illuminated with the flash going off. So it's pretty simple to make your own beauty dish. Uh, and uh, I'm still keeping the old post up there with all the, uh, the photos and everything like that so you can download those also. So this is Mike from imageguy.com and thanks for watching. If you want to see last week's video, it's right here. If you want to see next week's video, it's right here. And if you want to subscribe, right here. Okay, click something. Come on.